What do we have to show for 4,400 American deaths and billions and billions and billions of American dollars? We have absolutely nothing to show for that. Zip, nada, squat, diddly to show for that. Whether this is a success or not is going to be determined by one thing and one thing only. Our military venture into Iraq, one thing and one thing only. Do we leave behind a nation which protects religious liberty for Christians? That and that alone is going to be the measure of whether our military venture will be a success or a failure. By that measure, Iraq and Afghanistan, absolutely spectacular, total dismal failures. They had it better under Saddam Hussein. Uh, Saddam protected Christians, and he protected the Christian church when he was there because he had a country to run, and the only trustworthy, honest people he could find in his entire country were Christians. Couldn't find them in the Muslim population. They'd steal them blind. They'd lie to, they'd lie to him. So the only trustworthy, honest people, faithful people he could find to kind of manage the administrative affairs of the country were Christians. So he needed them. They were the only people he could employ that wouldn't try to rip him off and rob him blind. So he protected the Christian church to a, a certain degree. And when we came in, Saddam was gone. That, you know, when he went down into that hidey hole, all the protection for Christians vanished into that hidey hole right along with him. There is no spirit of the Lord in Islam. What you have instead is a spirit of darkness, a spirit of death, a, a spirit of tyranny, a spirit of despotism, a spirit of terror. And it is, uh, it's just not in the DNA of Islam to have any kind of appreciation for or drive for liberty or freedom. So here's my point. It's time for us to be done with nation building in Muslim countries. It cannot be done. It's a colossal waste of American blood and American treasure. So I think our new foreign policy ought to be, and this is what I'm looking for for our next president, not one drop of American blood, not one American dollar to make any effort to rebuild Muslim nations. It's a waste of American blood and treasure.